Hey girls, you know what I was thinking? I want to go on an adventure. A sleigh riding adventure. Where? I'm thinking Antarctica. It would be the perfect place. Do you know how cold Antarctica is? Do you know anything about Antarctica? Yeah, well, it's perfect. I know it's cold, it's got snow, and lots and lots of penguins. Before you pack your bags, let's learn about Antarctica. Yeah. Okay. Antarctica is the fifth largest continent on our planet Earth. Antarctica is about two times the size of Australia and 50 times bigger than the United Kingdom. And even though it's so big, believe it or not, nobody lives there. And we'll learn more about this in a few minutes. You see, Antarctica is the Earth's southernmost continent and it is located on the South Pole. Winter goes all the way from May to the end of August. You're right, Quinn. Summer actually begins in December and ends in February. And this is because Antarctica is located in the Southern Hemisphere. The Southern Hemisphere means it is located below the equator. One of the reasons that nobody lives there is because the continent of Antarctica is freezing cold. And Antarctica has more than 90% of the world's ice. But did you know that it also contains more than 90% of planet Earth's fresh water too? The whole continent of Antarctica is covered in snow and ice. In fact, over 99% is snow. That's a lot of snow, which is pretty much why I thought it would be the perfect place to go sleigh riding. This next fact is going to blow your mind. The deepest ice in Antarctica measures almost two and a half miles thick. And on average, the ice is well over one mile deep or one mile thick. That's over 6,200 feet thick with ice. There are a few areas where there is only little ice throughout the year. Sometimes there is none at all. And these areas are located in the northernmost part of Antarctica. And this is actually the only place on the entire continent where you can find what's called tundra vegetation. Tundra vegetation is vegetation that grows in freezing cold climates. Tundra plants that you'll normally find are small scrubs, grasses, and mosses. You see, most of the continent is almost 10,000 feet above sea level. Actually, everything is over 9,900 feet. Antarctica actually has the highest average elevation of all continents on our planet. Hey, guess what? Did you know that Antarctica is the driest continent of the seven continents on Earth? Wow. That's right, Quinn. Believe it or not, Antarctica is actually called a polar desert. There is very little rainfall throughout the year, just like a regular hot, dry desert with sand that you would see in places like Arizona, Nevada, and even Africa. The reason for the lack of rain is because there is very little moisture in the air, just like a hot desert as well. That is actually very surprising, because I would have never expected Antarctica to be a desert, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, if you were outside working on the ice, you can actually become dehydrated. And dehydrated means that your body does not have enough water to function the right way, and you can actually die from dehydration. Besides it being so cold, Antarctica is also the windiest continent on Earth. <laughs>
and sometimes the wind speed can be more than 218 miles per hour. Wow. If you've ever been outside when it's really cold and the wind is bad, it's no wonder that nobody lives in Antarctica. And there are some people there, but there's no one that lives on Antarctica permanently. During the winter, only around 1,000 people are there, and about 10,000 people live there during the summer. Wait! You said that nobody lives there. Well, just keep watching. You'll understand. Okay. Here, Gus, I'll explain it for you and everyone watching. The people that do live there are there for about one year to live, but work in the research stations that are located in Antarctica. These research stations are spread all around Antarctica. There are actually 18 countries that regularly send scientists as well as researchers to these many research stations. The most stations, as well as the biggest stations, are operated by the United States of America, Russia, Chile, Argentina, and Australia. The coldest air temperature ever measured in Antarctica was negative 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, and this was recorded at Vostok Station in 1983. Along the coast of Antarctica, the average temperature is around 14 degrees Fahrenheit. The coastline actually has the warmest climate of the entire continent. There are not many species that live on Antarctica. You can find some species of whales and seals that live in the southern ocean that surrounds Antarctica. Some people think a lot of different penguins live there, but it's only one species of penguin that live there, the emperor penguin. And believe it or not, there are about 5 million emperor penguins that live on the continent of Antarctica. So even though it's only one species of penguin, it's still a lot of penguins. In fact, millions. Well, hey, guess what? Now, we and you know all about Antarctica. And you guys may be right. Maybe it's a little too cold to be there for a sleigh riding adventure. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.